bliss. God bless you. I'm Pastor Keka. I welcome you all in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord says, keep moving. Movement is very important for every individual. As a matter of fact, when you cannot move, you are considered incapacitated. One of the greatest punishment of all times before every legal jurisdiction is the ability to limit your movement. That's what they call imprisonment. Many things are released from the enemy to stop us from moving. The devil do not want you to start your journey and to continue it. If the enemy can get you stuck in one place, he is a winner. But today we are challenged to keep moving in spite of the distractions. We are challenged to keep moving irrespective of the battles. Do not accept the defeat of the enemy to stop what you're doing. Keep moving on your dreams. Keep moving about your finances. Keep moving. Don't let the enemy stop your motion. In the name of Jesus Christ, you already began, just continue to do it. Moving is an act of faith in spite of the challenges. Deuteronomy 1 verse 6, the children of Israel were stuck in between the sea, Red Sea and the desert. They dwelt by the seashore and thought there was no way forward. And the Lord spoke through Moses, saying, you have dwelt in this place for too long. You have to break camp, advance. God don't want you stagnant. He wants you progressing on a daily basis. Don't be stuck on that deal. Don't be stuck on that decision. Anything that will stop you from making progress, fight it. No matter how little the progress is, it's better than no progress. May the Lord God give you the determination, the fortitude to move on no matter the obstacles in Jesus' name. 